Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to do a little product review. Wow, my first product review on this channel. It's not going to be much of a product review, I'm sure. But uh, the other day I got this thing in the, in the mail and I'm not sure why I got it. So it was kind of free. Um, it's called the iTrack Pocket from Focusrite. Um, and it's a little doohickey technical term that goes onto your iPhone and lets you record in stereo or mono microphone and a line input for your guitar and it has a single a single uh, volume control so I'm just gonna show you this thing uh, I don't know if I can switch my camera while I'm recording so I might have to change so here's uh, the box again, and this is the product. Uh, it's got a little slot, as you can see from the from the thing there, uh, that you put your iPhone in, forcing you pretty much to record in uh, landscape, which is a wonderful thing. And on the back, it has a, a small USB type connector. Um, the cable isn't fixed, I've already plugged the cable in. And it goes to a lightning connector that goes into your iPhone. So I'm going to use my... Uh, it says it's for the iPhone 5S, 5C, and 5. So, um, yeah, it's perhaps old, which is maybe why they sent it to me for free. So here's my iPhone 5S, uh, which I use only for as a as a camera in a multi-camera setup and so what you're telling me is that you take the thing and you put it in but unfortunately it doesn't fit because i have this rather fetching uh patty and jimmy cover on here so it's a really tight fit um so i'm gonna have to take the cover off easier said than done with a single hand uh, hold on. Okay, so the Patty and Jimmy cover is off. Now I have my iPhone, and it does fit in there nicely. Now, folks, right, like everyone on the planet, has their own app. So I downloaded um, the app. Just give me a second here. And... The app is this thing here, it's called Impact, and I'm not sure what the problem is. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to plug in the lightning cable, and, and okay, I've plugged in the lightning cable, and now we're in. Now the photo from the this guy seems to get himself in. This is what I've got. Like a picture of my stomach. Um, so, it's not a wide enough angle lens on the front of the iPhone. And now you see the other problem. There's no ability to tilt. So, if they put some other kind of mechanism on there that lets you tilt the thing back, it would be infinitely more useful. Again, maybe this is why they sent it to me for free. You can see my cool iPhone case there. Um, so there it is. That's the thing. And you have a level. And so this level output display only works on their little impact thing. I'm not going to review this app of theirs, but it is an interesting app maybe for other purposes or for using this thing. So you can control the level. And if you plug in a guitar, one side is then the microphone and then the other side is the line input, though you still only have a single uh, I think the level only affects the microphone. So there it is. You know, the sound is not bad, and I'm actually going to record something in a second using it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So, I'm recording. As you can see, maybe if I go far enough away, um, you can uh, get yourself in like the guy does on the box. And what I'm going to do, so that's recording in stereo, my voice. I mean, obviously the stereo is not huge. I'll click over here and then over here. 
and uh, it's not a huge difference in those meters, um, which you can't see, but I can see. So I'm going to plug in the guitar, and now my voice is only coming out the one side, uh, and I'm going to actually plug in the other end of the guitar, like a professional, and turn on some volume. And now, whoa, holy moly, that thing's loud. Let's see if I change this. Yes, it does. So, it's one volume control. So there we have, that's the thing. I'm not going to do any more, um, but you get the idea. It's a great idea. If it had a tilt, it would be awesome. And the other thing is if on the bottom they had a, a little connector, so there's three things actually. The tilt, a little connector on the bottom so you could attach it to the top of a small tripod, like a gorilla pod or something like that. And, I, and if this thing was actually a clip, and not just a groove, because quite frankly, the phone falls out pretty easy. So, there you have it. Up to you. See you later.